Governor Romney, after so many years, such a long campaign, what is he thinking tonight? ABC's David Muir covered that campaign and is in Boston right now. David. Hey there, Diane. You showed that image of the governor today in that hotel room. We know he spent more time with his family that had gathered here. Five sons, 16 of the 18 grandchildren. And this family has been a huge part of the campaign. One of the sons, a key advisor. The others campaigning for him. And, of course, Ann Romney, who has said this would be the last campaign. <laughs> Mitt Romney and his campaign convinced they had a shot until the very end. Like so many of you, Paul and I have left everything on the field. We have given our all to this campaign. Last night, a portrait of his dedicated family one last time before exiting the stage. Romney had been running for president for six years, two campaigns. And I'm running for president of the United States. Hoping to fulfill an unfinished dream of his father. He's gonna win, win, win in George Romney, the one-time governor of Michigan, running for president himself. A devout Mormon, Romney's discipline brought outside success at work and a cherished family at home. How you doing, knuckle snorts? From the very start, his campaign arguing Romney was the turnaround guy who could turn around the economy. But there would be missteps, playing right into the caricature crafted by his opponents. Corporations are people, my friend. Taking hard lines in the primary that would hurt him later, calling for self-deportation for undocumented immigrants. They would leave this country, go home, get in line with everybody else. That's correct. There were his comments about the 47%. But there were also turning points, his wife's appeal. I love you women! <laughs> Romney's biggest president, moment, that first debate. But you've been president four balance. years. You've been president four years. Right. You said you cut the deficit in half. It's now four years later. And there was self-deprecation, too. But it's nice to finally relax and uh, to wear what Ann and I wear around the house. Uh, <laughs> in the final days, a candid answer from Ann. Should the race not go their way? He will not run again. Nor will I. <laughs> Living with MS and enduring the rigors of two presidential campaigns. Last night, her husband promising a prayer for the president. Ann and I join with you to earnestly pray for him and for this great nation. Thank you and God bless America. And so the big question tonight, what's next for the governor? He has said in the last 24 hours he hasn't much thought about that other than saying he has a life and a family to get back to. But, Diane, we've learned tonight a little more about the campaign plane, at least, the one that we've been flying around in the back of the plane for the press. We're told it's headed back to Michigan, reportedly, where they're going to clean the plane, a private company. There were decontamination saying these campaign planes are no notoriously filthy, filled with germs because of those reporters with beaten down immune systems. I didn't know how to take that. <laughs> we won't take it personally. Thank <laughs> you so much, David.